Before we get started, like, subscribe, get notified, Ooh. and share. And don't forget to head over to jrootedamagerstore.com to pick up the freshest new J. Rooted Damager gear like Lyric Tees and more. Peace. Yo, you're not as cold as me, motherfucker, stop pretending. I'll murder you in front of your crib like John Lennon. Rip the tendons out of your muscle to cut the tension. I'm beyond your comprehension like related subatomic particles in fifth dimensions. Suspension in your breathing is what I'm leaving until a legion of demons whisper the meaning of life in your ear right before they make your motherfucking life disappear. But just cause you hear the multisyllabic grammatical, don't compare me to rappers that are on sabbatical. Cause I never did business in little fucking Italy. I play checkers on triple decker tour buses in Tripoli, the way that you typically bicker with me inexplicably is a mystery that pisses me off ridiculously because I'm lyrically beyond your level scientifically, specifically spitting out the spick in me prolifically I'm the majority of America futuristically, after I die fuck my music, you'll feel me spiritually darker than Sicily, ripping above the averages, you hold no weight like bitches after miscarriages and your label produces no kids like gay marriages, I'm disparaging every fake dog rapping in sight. That's why your faggot ass will never make it into the light. I'll crack your skull when I smash your face into the mic. And now you know what I'm like. I'll shook night the industry. I feel like the spirit of Nat Turner got into me. You're infinitely hopeless. You sound like shit when you spit lob. Like Jennifer Lopez. I'll massacre a rich rapper and all his broke friends and go to Club Cheetah rocking some blood soaked Tims. Party crashing animal fucking model bitches leaving their stick figure anorexic pussy in stitches. My verbal blitzes that outshine your offense you watered down nonsense and I'm 200 proof choking a local youth in his homemade vocal booth you're a fucking incompetent killer like Ray Carruth and I'm technique the rawest nigga ever produced I spit nastier than regurgitating period juice so burn your fucking rhyme book stay warm and put it to good use I'm about to drop like frozen airplane shit through your roof and I'm sick of fake hustlers telling lies to the youth you never robbed Dominicans and and you couldn't sling rocks if you was Palestinian, you broke motherfucker. You cats don't burn rubber. You niggas can't even get a fucking cab like Danny Glover. You ain't hardcore. I'll smack the shit out of your mother. You want to be gutter? I'll leave you laid out in the street. Sign yours truly, the motherfucking immortal technique. I'm DJ Vermeer. I'm good. We're Gangstar. Hip hop is. That's what you're checking out. What is hip hop to you, man? Well, hip hop to me is something that runs through my veins, you know, like, like the blood of my veins. Like something that is, that is the, the most spiritual thing. That's something that's the most street thing. It's something. emotions. It's yeah, emotions. Everything. It's happiness and pain. Both of them, happiness and pain. All of that. You know what I'm saying? And, and it makes real hip hop makes me feel happy. Real hip hop makes me feel feel pain, but when you get it out, so you don't real, stay Real hip hop, real hip hop, and the culture is the salvation of the world. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of stuff that you hear now is not hip hop. It's called something else. You know what I mean? Something else, and it don't sound like hip hop. Hip hop has a sound. And that something else will be the destruction of us. So we can't, you know what I mean? Bumpy Nuggets you know, said it on his album. We can't it's even fuck with that shit no more. It's a certain way it sounds. If it doesn't sound like hip hop, even though they put on the and saying it's a hip hop station, that's just not real. Right. It has a certain sound. They don't all sound the same. Because NWA don't sound like Slick Rick, but they were both hip hop. Totally, yeah. Two totally different sounds. There it is. But it's, it sounded like hip hop. Yep. Lyrically, it was like hip hop. Another clown fucking up the shit and trying to sit in our box. They cannot sit in our box. Word up. They got to watch on television. We sit in the fucking floor. You know? That's what real hip hop is about.
Turntablism. Well, I actually started in 1980. My father was a, a, a club DJ, you know what I mean? He had all the breaks and stuff like that, and I used to sneak downstairs and cut. You know what I mean? He used to take the needles for me sometimes and shit, but you know what I mean? He used to let me cut, whatever. And you know, from there, I just got started and I just kept going. You know what I mean? Nice and on until.